have a discussion, man. Y'all ain't seen that the NBA Finals is on Thursday, which this video will drop on. And yeah, man, it's been a long journey there. We got the Denver Nuggets versus the Miami Heat. And today we're going to talk about the road to the NBA Finals and who I got predicting to win the Finals. So first off, we can start with the first round, man. First round has some good games, some good series. The best one out of that series was the Kings' first time making the playoffs in a long time versus the defending champions, the Warriors. And that game series went to seven. And you know what? I ain't going to lie. Fire series. All seven games, top tier. You got it. The Kings showing everybody why they deserve to be there. I thought they was going to win. I had them winning. I'm not going to lie. After I seen them win the first two games, I'm like, you know what? Kings going to win this series. And then you stuck her mind of who he is in game seven. And we like, you know what? Warriors like that. But we also see the seventh seed, LA, LA Lakers arrive back on the scene after pre predicting in the beginning of the season to not even be in the playoff. We see them arrive back and say, oh, yeah, we here. And beat the number two seed, the Memphis Grizzlies, who just had a rough year, man, and still had a, had a rough time with John Rice's situation. We're not going to talk about that right now, but they need to just take a step back. They're still young and got time. But yeah, and then we saw Denver not really much from. We're not going to talk about Denver because Denver beat Timberwolves only in like five games. It wasn't really much. Should have should have swept them. The, the Clippers and the Suns. It wasn't my favorite series. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty boring. I, ex I expected more from the Suns and probably the, the Clippers too, but obviously Kawhi just being Kawhi, don't want to play, caused the team to lose. And Paul George not being there at all was, was hurt him bad. So, the the for the for, uh, for, um, for Phoenix, and then we got on the other side, Miami. Giannis gets hurt first game, and Miami Heat, the eighth seed, beat the number one seed. Ain't that crazy? And then. A great series, too. Cleveland Cavaliers, who had beaten the Knicks, lost to the New York Knicks. Jalen Brunson turned up on a Knicks team who had better talent, just wasn't ready for the show. First time in the playoffs since LeBron left. And you do that? I mean, I understand. Donovan Mitchell, Garland. But, like, come on, man. And you got the Twin Towers down low getting destroyed by Randall and them. It's crazy. Boston, Boston they beat the Hawks, but come on now. In six, it, it we'll talk about that later. But in one of those games, they blew a lead, which kind of shows why they're not in the finals right now. One of the reasons, early reasons why, and who else? Um, and then the Nets and the Sixers wasn't even really much of a series, if I'm being honest. They got swept, so yeah. All right, then we get round two, then we get the Warriors versus LA Lakers. People count, and like, you know. I'm a bias. I'm gonna be by right here. I'm a Lakers fan, and I love seeing LeBron finally crush those those Golden State Warriors. Man, I was tired of seeing him them beat up on us all them years. They put them in their place. Then um, I'm not gonna lie. I picked the Suns to go all the way. I picked the Suns and LA to go all the way against Boston both times. Oh my God, the Suns got beat by the by I guess at the moment the best team in the league. Wasn't much. KD had no help. Top five was heavy. DeAndre Ayton is a big bum. Don't know what he's doing there. Big softy. My God. They just, they had no help. I feel bad for KD. And he shot all these teams to keep losing. Then we had um, Miami Heat beat the Knicks. The Pretenders. They beat the Cavaliers, which probably wasn't much because that was their first time in the playoffs, too. And they got busted by the AC. Miami Heat is like that, guys. We're starting to see that they're like that as an AFC. And then the Sixers and Sixers go to seven with Boston lose two games at home. Which, come on, bro. You cannot do that after you're, you just being in the finals last year trying to go back. You can't do that. Obviously, they win in game seven by game seven. Tatum just turns up and go crazy. I think he had 53 points. Most points, I think, in the playoffs. Okay, Tatum, okay. So then we get the conference finals, which just ended maybe last night. Yeah, last night. <sighs> My Lakers got swept by the Nuggets. So we're not going to talk much about that. But it's just, I hope LeBron don't retire. He played his heart out. Hey, we started off 2-12. and 12, Wasn't projected to make the playoffs. Made it to the conference finals as the seventh seed. Good year, fellas. Good years. We ain't done. We'll be back next year. 
and Nuggets. I don't know who's stopping them, but hey, they look crazy right now, man. Jamal already hot. Jokic hot. Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown ain't do this on the the Nuggets on the Nets. Bruce Brown ain't been doing that. Caldwell Pope. We had him on the on LA. He only scoring twenty points. Yeah, he he got a ring, but he was he wasn't doing that. Like players stepping up, man. They they the team to beat right now. Then we get Boston Celtics versus Miami Heat. First off, Miami go up 3-0. I'm thinking it's over. Then Boston come back and win three games in a row. I'm like, oh, my God. They about to be this, the first team to go a 3-0 lead. Not 3-1, 3-0. Just for Miami Heat to blow them out in game seven. And Boston was home. You telling me Boston did all of that winning game saying, don't let us get one. Just to lose when they matter the most. It's crazy, Boston. But we need some changes, man. You have that same roster, and you made it. Just always, just just close, just always lose. That's what's up, Russia ain't gonna win. But yeah, man, the eighth seed is back in the finals for the second time in NBA history. The first time a playing team has ever made it to. They lost their first playing game to the Hawks. And they're in the finals. First time a playing team is in the finals. It's crazy. Now, after we have it, like, I think so far the playoffs has been great. A lot of um, unexpected stuff, new challenges, new faces in the finals. And, you know, off my, off my prediction, I have the Denver Nuggets winning the championship in six games. Sadly, right now, Miami is going to lose game one on Thursday with air because they've been through a battle with Boston. And only got had two days off. The, the the Denver been rested for like two weeks now. They got a deeper roster. The best player is taller than taller than Bam six nine. The best player seven foot and mobile. Jamal Murray can be stopped. I think he can be stopped in this series. And if if Miami truly has a chance, Butler got to have at least forty every game, at least 30, 40 every game. Well, like everyone got Bam got to step up too. Bam ain't been the best player. We know he can be. He got he to step up. But sadly, I got Denver in six. Hey, the, the Miami had been beating all the odds all year. We're stopping them from doing it one more time and be and win a championship as an AC. And Butler being probably on one of his best runs ever. Like, we're stopping him from doing that. Nothing. But yeah, man, I got Denver in six. Hopefully this prediction is right because my last one, Sun versus Boston, was false and phony. I guess KD ain't ready. And all, lots of firing, man. And we have a, a crazy offseason ahead of us. The draft, free agents, just trades might happen. Just a lot of that, man. So just stay tuned, man. I'm going to check back into y'all after and see if after the finals end to see if, if my prediction was right. But, yeah, man, it's been a crazy NBA final of uh, playoffs and i think the finals will keep going up but i love y'all man let me know who y'all think going in, in in the comments let me know who y'all think gonna lose let me know who y'all think have an off season or which i want to see just overall you know more nba talk just let me know what you want me to talk about i love y'all man catch y'all in the next video <laughs>